Good morning. So, this is how we're going to construct orthographic views. So, first thing is you have to provide the horizontal line on the bottom part of your drawing paper. Then, provide a vertical line on the left side. So, this will be our starting uh, point. The intersection of your horizontal as well as the vertical. So, basing on our drawing, given in your uh, notes... You have to get the dimension of the drawing. So, for example, you have to get the length of the object, the width of the object, and the thickness of the object. So, in our drawing, we have here the length of the object is Four point five centimeters. So you have to take it down. Length of the object is four point five centimeter, while the thickness of the object is three centimeter, and the width of the object is four centimeters. So as I've said, the intersection of our horizontal and vertical line is the starting point where we can start or we will start drawing the orthographic so I have here the details needed length, thickness and the width so in our drawing we have to measure 4.5 centimeters from this location to the right to the right So, you have to measure 4.5 cm. Mark your paper, then draw vertical. The thickness of the object says that we need to draw 3 cm. So, from your horizontal, you have to draw or measure 3 cm. Then, you have to draw another horizontal line. So, any distance from this location, the 3 centimeters, another horizontal line, and you will be measuring 4 centimeters up. Then, another horizontal line. This will become our H1 or horizontal line 1, H2 horizontal line 2, H3 horizontal line 3, and H4 horizontal line 4. So, from in creating our side view, because we have now our presentation for the front view which is composed of our H1 and H2 and the top view is H3 and H4 so in constructing our side view we need to use our 45 degrees triangle project a 45 degree line from H2 so from H2, you have to project a 45 degree triangle and you have to connect or see to it that your inclined or 45 degree lines will intersect your line H3 and line H4. So, using this intersection, you have to project a 90 degree or vertical line and another vertical line so that you can have your side view 
So this is now our presentation. This is intended. This space is intended for the front view. This is the top view and this is the side view. So notice that we did not measure the location of the side views anymore. So I will be uh, uploading uh, discussion on how to formulate the side view so in order to finalize our drawing we need to get the interior details of the object so in our presentation we need to measure 1.5 centimeters on the top view so from edge 4 down you have to measure 1.5 cm and draw horizontal line and on the uh, bottom portion or the front view we also need to measure 1.5 cm another horizontal line on the vertical axis or vertical line we also need to measure 1.5 cm and you have to draw vertical line so once you see another intersection of the uh, inclined line with your horizontal lines you have to get this intersection so that you can draw a vertical line so be careful in finalizing the views of the orthographic so that there will be no error so in doing this you have to use my gel 0.5 to represent your front top and the side view of the object so you have to be very careful so that there will be no error so finalize your drawing using 0.5 my gel so this one this is our top view and this is our front view so take note when you are going to draw or use your my gel you have to start from the top so that your drawing will be safe from any blots of the ink okay so in drawing the vertical line you have to start on the left side down to the right side so as I've said to be sure that there will be no blots of our presentation so this is now the front view, side view, and the top view of our orthographic drawing. So before we forget, you have to provide a label for our views. So when labeling our orthographic, do not forget to provide guidelines before you make your lettering so this is our top view be sure that you are using the proper lettering that you have learned in our discussions this is our front view And this is our side view.
So this is how we are going to make or present our orthographic drawing. But this is this is not yet done because we have to provide a dimension in our presentation.